<laughs> Daisy! Hi! Woo! <laughs> Molly? Molly! Hi, Molly! Look at you! Mary? 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 Maybell!
Hi Earl, we're having a party. Do you want some? taking Rebecca to Starbucks and instead of a pop cup we're gonna be asking for a cluck cup. Rebecca are you excited to go to Starbucks? Hi! Hi what can I get for you? We've got our pet chicken with us and we were wondering if we could order a cluck cup. So do you have like a little cup with berries in it that we could offer her? Um, yeah we have strawberries. Do you want some strawberries? You've got it. Thank you. Some strawberries. She's so cute. We have the <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. Alright, Rebecca, let's go park and I'll give you your treat. We just got Rebecca's cluck cup. It's berries and a little bit of water. Let's see if she likes them. Rebecca, would you like some berries, darling? She likes it. A successful trip to Starbucks with Rebecca, and uh, we'll have to see where we go next. Laundry. Broadly. Oddly. Saw three, like the movie. Tawdry. <laughs> oh my goodness, honey, you are the smartest cow in the world. I love you.
girl. Baron! Baron Von Goat! Hey there! Nigel! Hey, bud! Remy! What? You're not Remy. Johnny! Hello! Hazel! My name's Addison, and today my mom is taking me on a special field trip. Where I live, I usually hang out with the donkeys and horses, but I always knew I would be really good friends with the other animals here. We went to the cows first, which is where I met Madonna. We were getting to know each other with some long-distance sniffies when Holy Cow came up to the fence, and I was so excited to say hi. Then, a third cow, Athena, came up, and she really wanted to meet me, but I got a little nervous, and I was like, can we go now? Sorry, Athena. So we kept walking until we got to the upper barnyard, and boy was I happy to be here. She took off my lead and I was like, I can go anywhere? Are you serious? You guys don't understand. In the upper barnyard, there are llamas, goats, chickens, sheep, and so many others. But my favorite residents here are the pigs. I love pigs so much I wanted to talk to them all. They were resting when I walked up, but I still took my chances to say hi because I've always wanted to be friends with them. Best day ever. Today we're gonna take Nigel to Starbucks to get him a little treat. Nigel, you ready to go to Starbucks? Yeah? We're gonna be ready to get you at Starbucks. So can we get started for you? We have our rooster with us. So you have a rooster with you in the car? We do. He's he's right here and he's ready to order. Do you really have a rooster in the car? I'm so serious. His name is Nigel. Nigel the rooster's coming to the window. We're all gonna see this rooster. Okay, now. perfect. I'm thinking instead of a pup cup, could you do like a cluck cup? So it could a be like cup. a little yeah. cup of berries, maybe? Oh, sure. It's great. What do you think, Nigel? Are you excited? Can I take a picture of your chicken? You can. His name is Nigel. He's a rescue chicken. Oh can I take a picture too? Absolutely. Give Nigel the cluck cup. He's very excited. It's his first trip to Starbucks. Oh my god. He's Hi, so Nigel. Cute. All right. We have berries. Have a good day. Okay, Nigel, you get your very first Starbucks cluck cup. Oh, you like it? Jay-Z! Patrick Swayze! Scorsese! Maisie! Daisy! <laughs> oh my goodness! Beautiful. You brought all your friends too. You brought all your friends.
Our chickens, Nigel and Zaley, have fallen head over heels in love, so we're setting up a very special date night for them. For dinner, we wanted to set a romantic vibe. Here you can see Nigel in the window, making sure the table setting is up to his standards. And there you can hear him voicing his approval. The chef prepared some of their all-time favorites. Kale, green grapes, popped popcorn, and for dessert, blueberries. When we showed the happy couple to their table, they were underwhelmed by the plating, and ultimately decided to eat off the floor. Nigel, being the perfect gentleman that he is, insisted that Zaley eat first and waited very patiently, but in the end, they decided to share. Here's Zaley offering Nigel a piece of popcorn, and here's Nigel literally feeding Zaley a blueberry straight from his mouth. Pure romance. After dinner, we escorted them back home to cuddle up together for a movie. They do have a couple of roommates, but they have a semi-private perch that's great for alone time, plus Georgia. Nigel really, really liked this movie. Zaley wasn't super into it at first, but it got really juicy towards the end. She would like to choose the movie next time, though. Follow for more of this whirlwind romance.